Hello everybody. Well after, uh, after yesterday's video on the market, I felt like doing something else. I'm actually in Royton. I'm going to do a bit of shopping. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, you know me cough? You know what it is? It's rhinitis. Which is an allergy. I think I'm allergic to Bobby. My cat. But I can't get rid of him. He's got to be at least 17 now, I mean. Can't be going much longer, can he? But he doesn't show, show any signs to slowing down. But anyway, it just is what it is. I think I'm just destined to cough as long as I've got him. But I wanted to start by showing you this uh, this post box. You know, I've got a little bit of a thing for post boxes. Now, the interesting thing about this one, this one is um, in the reign of Edward the Seventh. Edward the Seventh was the uh, son of Queen Victoria. Now, one of her post boxes is still going outside uh, Alexander Park. Uh, if I'm passing, I'll, I'll film it. But it's just on the corner of Charles Street, John Street, Church Street, Queen Street. Um, so we're going to go over to church because um, the church has got a few interesting things like stocks and other bits and pieces. So have a look at that. And I also want to have a look at the, um, the town hall. And whatever else we see, oh, and there's an old house type road I'm going to go and look at in a minute. Um, we'll go to church first, I think, and then we'll get down to the old house. And then we'll go to Town Hall and just see what, what we get, right, shortly. Right, we were at St Paul's, but I'm not too sure if this is the right church. It's got to be, but my mum said, hey, it's open. My mum said uh, it had stocks. I think that's the old vicarage over there, our parish centre it says. Private grounds. Let's get around and see if we can find them. I've got an old photograph of me. Grandad, my grandma and uh, my mum as a baby here, they've just been to her wedding. I've got some strange symbols here, look at this. Looks like the Star of David with a crucifix in the middle of it. Have a look at that. The old Star of David is a Jewish symbol. Um, now, to be honest, this this particular visit wasn't necessarily a planned one. Look at that there. I reckon that years ago that would have held lanterns and stuff. That churches are fabulous, aren't they, for history and stuff? Look, there's another church. Ah, look at that. That's Masonic. That's the Masons Masonic sign. That. With a, with, a, with a pentagram in the middle of it. What the hell? What's all that about? So, the people that built this church then were the Masons. And why is there a pentagram? Was it a pentagram or was it just a star? Strange. Anyway, uh, that is a mystery. Look at that beautiful tower there. Um, where are these bleeding stocks anyway? That's what I've come to look at. It must be another church if it's not this one, but I mean, this is a fabulous church anyway. I'm going to see if I can pop my head inside. See if I can get hold of Vicar. Oh, there they are. Found them. Look at these old doors here. Yeah, I don't know why it's open. Maybe the cleaners are in or something. Right, here are the stocks. Oh my God. So we know what stocks are, don't we? Where they used to basically put people and throw things at them. <coughs> and they usually have the dates on. And this one does. They were made in 1777. Look at that. Now obviously the wood isn't original. They were made by JM in 1777. Wow. You know, there's another set of stocks uh, up at Saddleworth Church. Look at that, it looks like someone's had a go at carving something in it. A bit of 18th century graffiti maybe. Look at that, all that metal there. Look at that. JM, I wonder who JM was? He was obviously some sort of stonemason. Or did JM mean something else, if anyone knows? Tell me, but look how it's worn over time with all the wind and rain hitting it. Amazing. Right, let's have a look around back at church. So there's a little beautiful little garden around the back here. 
and I just wanted to look at this on the wall I don't think it is anything but can you see it there where that bench is looks like it might have held plaques years ago because you've got the drill holes so maybe at one time this was like a, a memorial garden or something But yeah, there was definitely something here. I reckon, you know, what's happened here... In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it's a war memorial. I'm guessing. Um, but they're all made out of bronze, aren't they? So I wouldn't be surprised. Look, they've bricked up the back door there. I wouldn't be surprised if this was a war memorial. Maybe to the men of the First World War. And the Second. And I reckon someone's probably come along and just whipped every single plate. That's what I think's probably gone on there, but if you know different, tell me. Look at these old steps here. Well, they're, yeah, they're, well, they're not that old, I suppose. They're old, but not. I don't know if they're as old as the church. Interesting. Them stocks are fabulous, aren't they? Um, right, I want to take you to this house that I've seen. I can't remember what it's called. But it was used as a cur home. It's uh, abandoned now. You can't even get near the door because it's all overgrown. Hey, there's a stone here. Right, I'm going to try and read it. The exterior of this church was cleaned and restored in 1972 by public subscription as a... as the... by... Department of the Environment and Wrighton, Wrighton Urban District Council, Reverend J. McBride, McBride, McBride and Alan Horton, 1972. <coughs> yeah, three years before I was born, that. Fab. Right, let's go to the uh, let's go to the house that I watched show you. Right, well I've got actually some good news. Park Lane House, which is the house I want to show you. The last time I came here, this whole beautiful look at this walled garden, all original. Now all of this last time I came was um, what's a jig? It was all overgrown. But Park Lane House. It was built in 1812, look at that. Now, originally, oh, and by the way, I know my videos are a little bit shaky again. I've got a natural stabiliser in the camera, so it's not as bad as it could be, but the gimbal had to go back. Um, it all went wrong with the gimbal, so I'm going to revisit that another time. Um, but yeah, uh, so, Park Lane House, built in 1812, so that'll be make it 209 years old, is it? Yeah, 209? I don't know. Uh, these, these pillars, not too sure if they're going to be original, actually. They probably are. Someone's decided to graffiti. I don't know what's wrong with people. and the, you know, They must have a mental illness to want to graffiti things. Um, but I would suggest that this is being done up because someone's obviously took the time to pull the garden out which is fabulous and it was literally overgrown. It looks like they've pulled the windows out there. I hope that they're taking it back to sort of a more original look. Uh, but interestingly as well, there's the tops off the gateposts. So they'll be putting them back in, I imagine. <coughs> which is fab. And then you've got these beautiful windows. I think they call them picture windows, don't they? But look at the stonework around them. I mean, it's just fab. And then this beautiful doorway. I wish I could see the door. I imagine though that it's probably a modernish looking one. Look at this. Bush family number. Car light, car light family automatically after five seconds. Uh, yeah, I think the reason why it's got that is it used to be um, it used to be a care home as well at one point. But I'm, I'm absolutely desperate to know who would have owned this house originally, who it was built for. 
but I mean these this road has been here for hundreds of years as well it's a it's a through road um, but I mean all of this would have been farmland uh, probably went well definitely when this was built fabulous I'm really happy to see that someone's actually doing it up uh, see if there's anything interesting to see on the side or oh, just called into church uh, and the fellow there, there was a warden there, he, wouldn't let, he had a couple of people in there but he wouldn't let me look round, which is fine. Uh, they don't open on a Saturday, maybe they were showing people around for baptisms or something. Uh, just want to look at this side door. And um, anyway, he said I could go back. I asked him what the symbols were about and he suggested I look on the internet. So. You'll already know what the symbols are, why they're there by the time I say this. But so yeah, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a video. The church, I, I had a quick peek inside. There's loads of history there. You know, loads of those plaques on the walls. So I'll do my research, and then we'll definitely do that. Right, let's get to the market hall. So we're now outside the um, the old market hall in Wrighton. It's got them. Um, various different um, inscriptions on the side. I don't know what that one means. Sic Labrador Ayatas. It probably means something like, you know, in labour we succeed or something. That's, that's quite a common theme. I'll check it though. Uh, the one that I really like, just get round the side, is the one that you can see as you're driving into Royton on this side of the top of the face. Uh, I'll zoom in on it. Sorry, let me just try and bleed and get there. Hang on. Yeah, this one, Pompous Fugit. Tempus Fugit means time flies. The clock still works. You know, we don't see it's crackered on me this morning. But the hall was built in 1880. Look at that. 1880. Beautiful, and it's got the um, it's got the library attached to it. Now that library was um, financed by a fella called Carnegie. Uh, you've had a Carnegie Hall in New York, while well, he built that as well. Um, but the guy was from Scotland. I think it was, I think it were uh, uh, what's it called? I think it was called from Aberdeen. I can't remember. But uh, anyway, he ended up going to America as a very young man. Started working in a telegraph telegram office. And then he got into stocks and shares and then he became one of the richest men ever to live. And uh, in and around the early 1900s, he basically had this, I thought it was just like a one-off thing, but he built uh, Cheddarton Library, uh, he built this library and he built that I found and he also built, um, what's it called, Cheddarton, I can't think. library this one oh Failsworth that's it yeah um, it's beautiful I'm gonna see if we can have a look inside look how odd this is it's a door oh well they built it on an angle and it's the old entrance to the hall let's see if we can go inside oh look, there's an old sign here but you can't make out what it says what a shame definitely said something I just tried to go in the library uh, and look at a section that they've got for local history but uh, there's a woman in there who basically just wanted to make it really difficult for me to go in a public building so sack that one off but uh, we'll continue having a look round and see what we can see. Oh look at this. Those who died in a rail crash at Welshampton on June the 11th 1897. Hmm. Uh, Welsh Hampton. Well, I think this is the market. This is the oh, this is this is fabulous. Look at this. Look at that. 